How y'all doing? Now I'm back here again. I did it. I managed to figure out how to get the damn text drawn onto a video with FFmpeg's draw text filter to fade in and out. <laughs> um, the way this is done, Mel, get your tail out of the way, baby. Thank you. Uh, is so I found out that some of the values that you pass into arguments using on the filter, you can actually have like do expressions to change it dynamically and um basically the expression uh, i'm basically setting the alpha value so the transparency of the text to a value based on what is essentially a daisy chain of uh whatever i guess you want to consider ffmpegs like if statements uh to dynamically set the transparency of the text and i'm going to do my best to explain the expression. It's a little weird to look at and understand, but I will try my best to break it down so y'all can understand it. Uh, before we get started, if you're liking my content at any point, uh, be sure to drop me a like, subscribe, and with that, let me show you the goods. Mocha, please don't bite my finger, baby. Please don't do it. Okay. So let me move this down so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe. I remember how to know it's going the wrong way. In my head, no, I was in my head all the way. How about that? Okay, so oops, okay, that works too. So, ignore most of this other stuff because it's just related to the actual like draw text package. This draw, this draw text go package. Uh, the main thing here we want to look at is this string storing this expression. Um, and I will here's I'm going to try to explain what this is. So, here you see an if if expression and the way this works in f of mpeg is it's going to evaluate it's going to look at the value of whatever this first argument is um, and if it evaluates to a non-zero number so basically one or not anything not zero it's going to use the value in the second argument if the first argument evaluates to zero for false basically it evaluates to the uh value in the third argument now you notice here that this is another if statement so what this is is this is this is really just a daisy chain of if statements uh that is used to control uh what the value of the alpha value is at any given point so the first part here is and let's see if I can explain the, the flow. So there's four values to take into consideration here. There's the time of when the text is supposed to start being displayed on the video, the time it ends, the length of time for the fade in effect, and then the length of time for the fade out effect. Those are the four important values. So here's what we want. If You'll see there's a, a value here called uh, t. Uh, t is a constant that's available in these expressions. And what t means, oh my god, I'm not so itchy, yeah, is the timestamp of the current frame that this, this filter is currently evaluating. And uh, we, what, what this, essentially this expression is doing is if the timestamp on the filter is less than the starting time of when you want the text to be seen at all, the transparency is zero, meaning it's, it, it does not exist. It, it, you can't see it at all. This is shown by uh, this zero right here. If T is less than whatever this number is, which will be the starting time, it's, it's zero. It, it does, don't show the text at all. Um, otherwise, we are in the, at very least, the starting time frame of when the text should be displayed. So now we evaluate a second if. This is if the time timestamp is less than the starting time plus the fade in duration. If it is, it evaluates to this expression, which is the time t, I think what was it? It's the time t minus the start time divided by the fade in duration. And this will give the effect of the value slowly increasing from zero up to one, which will allow it to fade in. If it's past this point, you're now in what's, I guess you want to call it the, um, 
uh, the duration, like uh, the 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 time span of where the text is displayed at full full alpha, full opacity, and it evaluates this. And it's uh, if t is less than this value. Um, if I'm trying to remember, this value is um, the argument I pass in. is called duration. It's essentially the ending timestamp of when the text is supposed to stop being displayed uh, minus the uh, starting timestamp. That gives you the duration. I think that's what that is. Let me check real quick. Alpha, I think. Yes, duration, yeah, yeah, that's right. So let me get back to where I was. Da, 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 da. Right, yeah. So if we're in that duration time frame. Um, the alpha is just set to whatever the alpha was that I said I wanted the text to be. Uh, by default, it's just full opacity, so one. But I can actually say, well, just leave it at like half, or something like that. Which I actually don't know if that'll work because this. I think that other expression will still make it go up past that. Uh, whatever. I, I could probably like have it subtract. The actual opacity that I want. Uh, anyway. Um my nose is so itchy. What the hell, dude? Um if it's not, it evaluates this last expression, which I believe is the uh duration plus the fade out. Yeah, duration plus the fade out duration. Um and what this will do is that's when the last expression happens that will set the alpha equal to this expression, which it's like, uh, what is this? It's crap. I, I forget what it is. You'll have to I have to just see what it gets generated. Um, but basically, this is what causes the alpha the alpha value to drop from like slowly from one down to zero to fade out. And then finally, if you're past the end the 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 entire time frame of when the text was supposed to be displayed, um, again you set the alpha to zero, as in it's not there anymore. So this is the expression I had to use to get this to work, and it actually works, and I'm going to show you real quick. So this draw text package has a binary component. Um, let me see, draw text, CMD, it's right here, and you'll see where I'm basically passing in all these, like the, the, the options you would normally pass into the actual draw text filter. I'm just kind of, this Go package is kind of wrapping it so I can make it easier to do some of the more complicated things like doing the fade in and fade out. So let's actually take a look at what that looks like when I try it. So let's go to that project. I'm about ready to yell at my cat because she is being ornery again. Yeah, yes, that's, that's what I thought, punk. So let me see, draw text. So. Here is an example of me using it before, and you'll see that the text is at the bottom. Uh, I gave it a little offset, and I have it start being displayed two seconds in, and then to stop, finally stop being displayed eight seconds in. So by the eight, by the time you get to eight seconds, the fade out will be done. The fade in duration lasts half a second, and the fade out duration lasts half a second. So. Let me move my head again because you can actually see this. Uh, oh, where should I put this? Okay. And you should see the text fade in and then fade out. So let's run it. Give a second. There's the fade in. Um, I can't see the time. Okay, yep, there you go. Yeah, so there you went. The, uh, let's run it one more time because I wasn't paying attention actually. There's the fade in, blah, blah, blah. And fade out. So, hooray! I figured out how to get the text to fade in and fade out. <laughs> um, the next thing I want to try to figure out how to do is to get the text to like slide in and then slide out. I think that'd be pretty neat. I, th I would actually probably use that in my videos as part of my like like automated like editing process. I would probably do that probably to show like the maybe at the end of the video to like highlight. Like links and stuff, something like that. I don't know, whatever. Uh, I thought I wanted to show you all that. I was, I was super excited when I got that to work on stream the other day. 
No, no one was around to watch me figure it out, but oh well, I was happy that I figured it out. Um, if you want to follow me on other platforms, such as Twitter or Discord, I got links down there below. Um, if you would like to support the channel, and I love you so much, uh, there's links down there for that as well. And with that, y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.